hello guys uh welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome if you are you have been here before welcome back and today i'm going to be talking about something that i learned uh throughout this this year i'm talking to uh, to be talking uh, i'm going to be talking about lessons that i've learned so that you can also maybe you will learn some two or three things from what i'm going to be talking about here so uh this year 2022 has been pretty rough for me in a way and also i can say that it has uh, it has come with a, its own advantages blessings and uh, it, it have even uh, changed my style sometimes and uh, i think i've progressed in a way that it's so exponential and um, i'm really happy for that and i'm really happy and i know it's not it may not be the same case for you but the lesson that i'm going to be sharing with you in this video maybe are going to change you on how you'll handle it. the coming year the coming year after that and the coming year after that and the coming year after that so without wasting time let me share with you the lesson that i've learned throughout this year so uh what i have learned is that you have to work hard to get what you want you have to work to get what you want that's the first lesson that i've learned uh you know there's nothing that uh, will come on a silver platter as someone said yeah as some people say yeah you have to work for you to get what you want for instance if you you know that maybe you want to to excel in your career you want to make your business become successful you want to ensure that you you want to acquire in uh, something that you need you have to work for that if you have maybe if you, uh, you wanted to buy a house this year you know what that's that is not going to come easily to you you have to work for you to get that money for you to be able to work that, uh, to buy that house i know this may be uh, may seem obvious to you and may seem uh, something that maybe you have had a lot of people talking about but what i can tell you is that there's nothing that you, there's nothing in life that will come easier everything that you, you you need to get into your life you have to work for it you have to put effort into that thing so you have to focus on what you want to uh, to um, to have in your life so think about it what do you want to have in this life uh, maybe in this year what do you ha want to have next year so what i've learned that is if you want to get anything you have to work hard for it let me talk about some instances uh, i was shooting my videos using this phone here it's in infinix hot 4 yeah hot 4 uh in infinix hot 4 and uh, you know what I, I really had a plan to buy a new phone and i really worked hard for that i really had to save money i really had to strive to, for that and currently i'm shooting with the phone that i just bought and uh, it's about it's an exact improvement so that is that is what i've learned this year so if you want to get anything as long as you are determined to achieve that thing if you work hard for it then you're going to have it and that's it so the second lesson that i've learned in this year is that challenges are a part of self-awareness and self-development so i did a video talking about how challenges are important in your life and i leave the link to, uh, in the description and why you need them and why you need challenges in your life you'll see the link in the description go and watch that video after you have watched this but for now let me talk about how challenges in in your life can uh, can turn into self-awareness and can help you develop yourself the first thing is that the more challenges you face the, you face in your life the more things you are uh, the more challenges come uh, to you you will have to figure out a way to work uh, across to work through these challenges at the moment uh, at this moment maybe you are trying to work to work your way throughout these challenges you'll figure out that you'll have to come up with new strategies for you to handle these challenges because the way you used to handle ch uh, your challenges in the previous year it's not the same way that you'll be using to handle the same challenges that you have faced and you have to know that every everything in life every day every single year so everything keeps on changing so you don't uh, you don't exactly expect the same challenges as you uh, as you uh, you uh, you come across in the previous year so the challenges that you face will put you in a pressure will put you under pressure and this will force you to come up with strategies for you to solve these challenges so along the way uh, when you're solving these challenges uh, you will get to know yourself you get to know your strength you get to know your weaknesses and the moment you get you get to know yourself and you get to know your weaknesses and your strength this is the part of self awareness and also the moment you know yourself better then this this is the moment you will be able to develop yourself so for instance if you know about your weaknesses let me say you know that I'm, I'm i have weaknesses in a certain area i have weaknesses in communication skills so so i'll have to sharpen that uh, so if you go along uh, if you go along and sharpen that skill then you'll be developing yourself and this is what i learned and this is a very important lesson that i learned through this year and i'm, I'm sure that you can implement the same in your life uh the coming year maybe the next year and maybe uh, you you get yourself on a better place that you want to be 
That is what I've learned. So the third thing that I've learned is that some people will only come into your life to exploit you. You have to be careful. Some people come into your life pretending to be friends to you. They come into your life pretending to be good people. They want to help you. But in real sense, they, just, they have just come into your life to manipulate you. They have come into your life to use you. So you have to be careful with this kind of people. So, uh, for instance, maybe uh, maybe this person is your friend, maybe is your partner, maybe let me say someone you are, you have a crush with. Maybe you thought that, hey, you know what, this girl feels the same for me, and maybe I feel the same for her. Maybe this boy feels the same for me, and I have feelings for her. So I think we should date. But when you find out that, that when you find out is that this person who came into your life, the only thing that he or she wants, maybe he or she wants to use you for attention, maybe he or she wants uh, to use you for your money, maybe he or she wants to use you for your body, that's it. So this is something that you have to be careful. You have to watch the kind of friends, the people you invite into your life because this matters so much, this matters so much because some, uh, some of the friends are, or will only come into your life, some of the people only come into your life because they, they see there is something they can benefit from you. They know that they can gain something from you and that is why they're coming into your life. So you have to check out this. Not all people who will always come into your life will come with positive intention, will come with uh, with amazing things into your life. Some will only come to use you. And that is, I know, that is very, very, very bad and you don't have to be in that part. So you have to understand that some people will only come to, uh, into your life and, uh, to exploit you. I know you may ask me, uh, why are you saying that you uh, some people only come into your life to exploit you? What what did you come through? So in this year, maybe I I come across a chick. Yeah, maybe I thought I thought she was in love with me, and uh, I was into her. To be honest, I was so much attracted to this girl. She was amazing. Damn, damn, she was amazing. I can't lie to you. The way she looked, man, I just thought, uh, you know what? I just knew I found the right girl. And she was willing to commit into a relationship. Uh, uh, the moment she told me that she was willing to commit, I knew that, hey man, this is the type of girl you should have in your life. She's sexy, she is amazing, she's smart. But after a few months, I, I realized that the only thing that she came for, she wanted me, she wanted to use me for my money. She thought that, you know what, I'm a, I'm a content creator, I'm a YouTuber, maybe I do have some money, she wanted to explain me. But the only thing she, uh, she didn't knew is that I was actually a beginner in this area. But you know what she kept on asking for money she kept on asking me to buy her expensive things she kept on you know what i just it clicked in my mind that this girl wanted to use me i i then asked her hey why why are you always asking me to buy you things to buy you this and why do you always want me to give you money ah uh, and you know what she got angry because i asked her such kind of question so this actually made me realize that this woman this lady this chick was only into me because of what she wanted from me she only wanted to use me for money and that's it so you have that is a lesson that i learned through this year and that is something you have to know that some people will only come into your life to exploit you so don't fall for looks don't fall for vibes you just have, you just have to be careful the kind of people you choose to invite into your life so the fourth point uh, another important thing that i learned throughout this year is that if you want to gain any skill you have to be ready to learn it so this year, I started publishing YouTube videos frequently into on, on this YouTube channel. And uh, to, to be honest, it's kind of hard. It's very hard for you to publish these YouTube videos, and I'm not used to that. No, when you're a beginner, you need a skill. For instance, expressing myself before the camera, uh, talking to the camera, expressing my ideas. This is, this is very hard for me. And I had to learn this skill. I had to practice. I had to, I had to spend so many hours. I had to... To record videos that i didn't even upload i recorded some videos i even deleted them because of what i didn't express myself the way i wanted it was a challenge uh, to be fluent talking to a camera expressing your ideas expressing how you feel about certain things it's a hard thing for me so this is a skill that i had to learn this year and i can see myself getting better at it and uh, if you look at my previous videos and maybe you compare to the video currently you're watching uh, you'll just say man you have uh, greatly improved on that Anyway, I'm not that perfect yet, but I'm still practicing it and I'm still mastering some of the two, one, two, three skills, watching several YouTube videos, uh, maybe learning some more skills that I can uh, can implement, I can employ into creating these YouTube videos that you're watching this channel. So uh, this has help, helped me a lot and I have been able to learn several skills. I've been able to get confident enough facing the camera, talking to you guys and sharing with you guys. Uh, everything that goes on in my life and I hope you can benefit from that. So the whole point of this is that I'm just trying to tell you that 
if you want to gain any skill, if you want to have any skill in your life, you have to be, you have to be ready to learn. You have to be ready to spend hours. You have to be ready to keep on practicing. You have to be ready to face challenges because along the way, I faced so many challenges while I'm trying to do this. Sometimes I feel so frustrated recording a video and maybe it doesn't turn out the way you expect it, expect it to be. Maybe look, watching back at your videos, you feel, damn, what am I doing? And what am I doing? Damn, this is, this is so stupid. What am I doing? You know, uh, that kind of feeling you feel, uh, you are feeling frustrated because the quality of the video that you created is not expect, uh, is not exactly what you expect it to be. And this is something that I had to learn the hard way, guys. So if you want to learn any skill, you have to be ready to spend hours to learn that skill. You have to be ready. You have to be patient, and you have to be ready to face the challenges that comes along the way of you learning this skill. And that is what I have learned uh, through this year. So uh, the other thing that I have learned through this year is never compare yourself to anyone else never compare yourself to anyone else what i can tell you is that hey let me tell you something an affirmation that you can use uh, maybe it can give you confidence that it can build you you know what hey you are doing better you are you you are unique on your own way you handle your issues the way you want and the way you handle your life the way you handle things in your life is not exactly the same way that other people do so if you have weaknesses, it's you. They are your weaknesses. They are your weaknesses. And those weaknesses makes you to be you. You know what? Uh, those weaknesses makes you to be you. So don't try to compare yourself with any, to anyone else. Because when you compare yourself to anyone else, the only thing is that you'll feel frustrated. you feel frustrated and you'll never make a progress into your life. The only thing you should compare yourself to, compare yourself to yourself. Compare yourself maybe from how you are currently and how you are now, maybe previously and how you are now. Maybe yesterday you had a certain weaknesses. So uh, what about today? So you have to find a way to improve that, uh, maybe to get rid of that weakness so that you keep on improving yourself. So don't compare yourself. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. I remember trying to compare myself uh, to some YouTubers. I have some favorite YouTubers that I really like. And uh, one of them is Ali Abdal, if you know about that YouTuber. He's a great YouTuber talking about um, maybe productivity and this what I, I trade myself I try to imp I try to copy his, maybe his style the way he shoots his YouTube videos and you know what I was feeling so frustrated when I couldn't manage so I just sat down and I say what you know what instead of me comparing myself to how these youtubers shoot their YouTube videos on how they express themselves in front of a camera let me just come up with my own unique way let me just use my own style let me just Talk the way I usually talk with people around me. Let me just in interact and uh, talk to the camera the way I usually talk to other people around me. And you know what? This is actually making me cough. It's actually making me comfortable. I can able to pre uh, to present my points in a way, in a calm way, in a composed way, and I feel so great about this. So you don't have to compare yourself to anyone. It can be that someone else is doing an amazing work on a project that you are working for. You are working on than you. But you know what, when you, when you think of uh, maybe copying someone else, imitating someone else, this is going to be hard for you because you're not going exactly to get the exact results as he or she is doing or, or not she is doing. So you have, to, uh, you have to just be yourself. Try to come up with your own unique way to express yourself. Have to come with your own way that will make you stand against the crowd. Because if you try to copy someone else, this is only this is going to bring you frustration. So, guys, that is what I wanted to share with you. Those are the five things that I learned through this year. Leave your comment in the comment section and tell me what you learned through this year. And maybe we can interact in the comment section. If you are new to my channel and you like the kind of content that you are actually watching right now and you, and you have found so many value, uh, so much value from it. Uh, be free to like it and subscribe to my channel so that we keep on growing together. Thank you so much. If you have made it to the end, this means a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.